Hi there folks, Paul Bars signing in for a quick video on WordPress SEO tips. How to, I guess, really make our WordPress blog work best for us. So you could also call this SEO tips for bloggers. Yeah, that would work as well. I'm on my website at the moment, which is a WordPress site, plus I have a blog attached to it. Let me just show you very quickly the structure of the site. I have the link up here for my blog, but I also have down here blog posts appearing on the front page. I have my post categories and I have my post tags. This right hand side appears pretty well everywhere except in the shop. And there's a search function as well. Now I've got over 400 so far posts in here at the moment, and that's just going to grow and grow and grow along the way. A couple of, you know, thousand odd comments, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the spam is always on the rise. Woohoo! Look how much a Kismet has protected me from now. If you don't have a Kismet, it's a great plugin to block spam in WordPress. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down here a bit further and have a look at a couple of my plugins. First of all, if I come down to the settings area, I'll do that. And we have this one here called the All-in-One SEO, All-in-One Search Engine Optimization. Now, this is a brilliant little plugin. It gives me a chance to manage my WordPress posts and pages by setting up these generic sections of descriptions and so on. But I can also, and as I'm talking about today for blogging, work here with my post title format, my post title, page titles, categories, archives, titles. Now when I say title, I'm referring to the words that will show up here in the title bar as part of the description in search engines. Okay, the title and then of course the description. So here's what I'm looking to do at the moment. I've just recently changed these settings for my categories. Over here on the main site, primary categories about half a dozen I'm in the processes of changing these and updating them the category title format used to be the same as this one just here let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see that a little easier here's what we've got it used to be category title whatever the name and then the blog title so let's say uh, internet business and then it would be dash you know and then my site name on all of these things yawn dangerous don't want to do that however I've now changed the category to the category title videos articles podcasts and tips and making that change I can then update basically what I'm looking to do is to make sure that every title every description is unique that's the key so if I come back down, this is what can be done with the All-In SEO plugin. There's another one, great one called SEO Smart Links. With the SEO Smart Links, I can create my internal linking structure. For example, just here, I have keyword phrases, SEO, then there's a comma, search engine marketing, comma, search engine optimization. I need to also add that in with a Z as well on-page SEO, off-page, and so on, with commas between them. Okay? So, what I want to do with those, however, is make sure that whenever any of these words or these keyword phrases appear on my page, it will automatically link to the category that I've created. This category, SEO tips. I specialize in stuff for WordPress. And that's what this plugin will do for me. So I come down and I save that. Beautiful. They are the only two plugins you need for SEO on a WordPress blog. So now let me come back here and I'm going to say click on this one here, SEO tips for WordPress. Before I do though, just have a quick look. Can you see this is coming up? Let me see if I can get that over on the right hand side. Look at the title, or I should say that description when I mouse over that link. Learn SEO tips for WordPress with these free videos and articles. Get step-by-step -step action plans, hints, and tips. WordPress strategy guides. Where's that? Haven't put that anywhere yet, have we? Coming back to the dashboard before I show this to you, this is in the posts categories section. This is the section that most of us rarely do anything with. 
Here I have a list of different categories, the primary categories. There's that one. And there is the description. See if I go to edit that. Here it is, just here. That just makes it run a little smoother. And update. Now, that description appears as a part of the actual po uh, the, the pages itself on my blog. Maybe Google will pick it up. I don't know. I'm playing with this right now, but I believe it will. So now we have here the title up the top. We can see SEO tips for WordPress. We've got videos, articles, podcasts, and tips. So it's got my primary keywords in the title. We've already got a good description. I've shown that to you. And then we have this H1 header tag. I need to go and remove this so that that's not there. Archive. Why do I want that there? That's not what I'm targeting. That's not the keyword phrase I want. Archive. Dash. No, I want SEO tips for WordPress or whatever post category I'm looking for. And then, of course, those posts that I have marked, and at this point of time, I think I've got about 50 of them, will show up in here as this archive but with some great content and of course if I come through to other pages let's just see if I can find one very quickly actually now I'll click on workshops some of the different workshops that I do scrolling down see if I can't find here we go here's a great example I've got that plugin all right, creating my interlinking system, SEO. I don't need it to show on every single one. That would just look silly. But the very first one, have a look down here on the left-hand side. Goes to category and that particular category. That's now building some internal, you know, SEO juice of ranking and linking system within. And that's automatically done by, here's these two plugins again. The All in One SEO and the SEO Smart Links. They're both free plugins and they're great for building up your SEO and your search engine optimization within WordPress. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.